okay now not yet no no okay, ma'am i'll do no, one thing i'll stop sharing i'll stop sharing and start with sharing and it. yeah open yeah, up the I'll ppt and again. then uh, share the ppt share your screen yes 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 okay. You want me to share? I should be able to share, but I don't know what's wrong here. I'll try again now. Huda, can you uh, have you downloaded from the Stride account for people? I have it with me. No, I think you should be. Able to. Yes, ma'am. Can start sharing, or Huda can start sharing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Either one of us can so, start. Is it okay, Vina, ma'am? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll I'll yeah, just try once. Let's just give me one more time. Yeah, yeah. Let we give her one more time, and then we can. Oh, okay. Ah, no, ma'am, ma. हाँ तो बोल on the program okay how about now yes ma'am now it is visible all right yes ma'am now we hear we can see it all right then just all make right. it to side show i am i am i am how about now done Yes, ma'am. Like, like two more. Yeah. Yes, now we can like see. Two more now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's begin. I'm sorry for the technical uh, glitch here. Uh, so good morning, everyone, and thank you again, Vidya, uh, for the warm introduction and for first of all inviting me here. So uh, let's begin with uh, Mendeley. what is mendeley mendeley is a, a reference manager first of all and it is added it has the added feature of being a social network i can do social network too still avan eduthu vepan still match uh hello vidya uh, can you mute please yes uh so um as we know it is it, it allows us to organize the material collaborate with others discover the latest research and find career opportunities for the students i specially added this feature yeah you'll see in the flow of the presentation uh, what does it mean so it was originally created in 2007 as a phd research um, uh, by three german students and it is named after um, uh, gregor mendel and uh, dimitri mendeleev so gregor mendel is considered as the father of genetics and dimitri mendeleev uh, he gave the periodic table so uh, dedicated to these two the, this was named as mendeley and it had won award uh, awards uh, in 2009 about uh, as uh, the european startup of the year and the best uh, social inno innovation which benefits the society uh, it was later acquired in 2013 by elsevio Elsevier is one of the prominent uh, publishing company, and it is available mainly on three platforms: the web, desktop, and mobile app. We are going to see in detail all the three platforms. So, creating Mendeley library. How do we create? 
uh, I had uh, asked uh, uh, Vidya not to uh, uh, let you download it beforehand because I think uh, uh, many of you are going to be using it uh, on because you're seeing the presentation here and maybe you'll feel more comfortable using it in your smartphone. So uh, you can download the um, app version as well if you want. And uh, then later you have to create your account using your email. Uh, it provides the online account uh, allowing the user to build a personal library and basically the most importantly it is stored in cloud so it is accessible from any location with the internet connection there is a sync feature uh, which you'll see so this is what the web library looks like as you can see uh, there is a button for add here you using this you can add documents or upload documents here in your library the library looks like this you can create folders many folders you can see at the left uh, where my cursor is you can see i have created many folders related to my uh, phd research here at top as the menu main menu is suggesting it's a, a field news feed then the library, then the suggestions are there. Mendeley gives you suggestions re related to the uh, terms that you search. Then there are groups, groups and all. As I said, careers, that's a major option here. You can use it for enhancing your careers. Groups can allow you to uh, get in touch with the other researchers of similar uh, you know, research interests. You can prepare groups. You can find out who's doing what in your particular area of interest. OK, then uh, how to download. So here, once you sign in, once you log in, here you'll get the option of uh, at on web version I'm talking about. So uh, the third option is download Mendeley, right? So you can download the desktop version, use the desktop applications to save your documents. A desktop Mendeley, I would say personally that I find Mendeley desktop version to be more um, uh, comfortable rather than uh, online or uh, app version but you can decide for yourself so uh, you can download the Mendeley from there this is the desktop library this is how it looks so now you can see in this there are th three panels this the first one is the left panel the middle is the uh, middle panel and the rightmost panel now these three panels are extremely important they have their own functions now, what are those? So this first panel, it'll uh, first column, leftmost column or leftmost panel, we can say, it allows the navigation. You can navigate uh, uh, using this, whichever folder, wherever you want to. Now, these first five, six folders till unsorted, I think they are given, they're inbuilt. So all documents recently added, recently read, favorites, you can star mark them, favorites, then needs review, my publications, you can add your own publications in that as well, and unsorted. You've not sorted them yet. So all these are in built folders. And then you can add further folders. Below that, you can see the folders that I have added. OK, then uh, so allow navigation and literature search to Mendeley. That's uh, the most important feature that I would say. You can see the literature search icon here. So literature search here means that you can search for a particular keyword or uh, that you feel like uh, you know researching more about. You can search that in the whole Mendeley library. So it's like Google search, but even more uh, uh, distinguished, even more academic oriented. So Mendeley, naturally, you'll find only peer reviewed and good quality, quality articles. Uh, there are uh, there you uh, quality articles if you are looking for this literature search is the one to go to then here you can see below filters there are different filters now this is this has drop, drop down option where you can have various filters like filter by author by title by keywords by publishers all those uh, columns here in the middle panel they can be added as filters here and uh, you can create folders naturally. As I said, these folders are created by me. So here uh, at the top menu, you can see add. And add is add document naturally. And the next one is folder plus folder minus. You can see here. So if you click this, there will you can add the folder. 
okay then uh, related you can find here and this is the sync button whenever you do as we save our work whenever you, we are working in ms excel or ms word we save like uh, uh, from time to time you have made the changes you want to save them naturally so here the sync button works there as the save option because once you sync it uh, whatever changes you made in either of the formats uh, either of the platforms if you made some changes on your web platform if you made some changes on your desktop platform or if you made some notes or some changes in your app platform but they'll be visible on either of uh, uh, any of these three platforms if you sync it so suppose you've taken some notes you've written some notes about the articles in your app the app platform on your mobile you've written some notes but those if you want to see on your desktop or on your web you can see them once you sync it okay so the middle panel here what does it do it provides the list of the references along with the details of each entry so what are the details here like what is the paper's title what is the author the year of publication where it is published in and when was it added to your library isn't that important as well so uh, you come to know all those details about uh, in the main middle panel and what does the right column do if you select like here i have selected this particular resource bibliotherapy literature to promote socio economic socio emotional growth right so i have selected this so uh, once you select a particular resource from the middle panel at the right panel you will see all its details bibliographic details you will see Uh, whether it is a journal article what is the title what is the author from where what not whichever details are not available here you can see all those and there is this so this is what i just said display the contents you can add notes here here there is an option here if you can see after details there is the second uh, tab called notes so if you click on this you will be able to see the notes you can add the notes in that so uh, suppose it, it is notes is as simple as what how how you perceive them as notes you you are reading something and you want to jot down in your own words how what do you uh, learnt from it so, so those are the notes for each article or for each information resource you can jot down your own notes in that column okay references how to add references so we have seen the add button You, how uh, which references can be added by using the papers in pdf format by importing you you, you already have uh, vidya ma'am has taught you uh, how to search online like particular resources how uh, uh, how to use the google optimally how to find your, the particular information resources that you're looking for so you've downloaded suppose 10 different resources related to your uh, particular uh, area of interest and those are there in your uh, laptop or your mobile right downloaded versions so you can directly add them to this library or you can import from online catalogs like mendeley catalog as i said or or you can manually add the details of the reference you can type in the reference as well you can migrate the reference from other reference managers now mendeley is uh, one of the top reference managers but there are others like endnote zotero and refworks Zotero uh, is one of the open source uh, reference managers and note and uh, mendeley are not but even though mendeley is not open source it is free free to use mm, uh, mendeley citation plugin can allow the users to insert the citation in word document as well we are going to see that in the tools menu you can add directly from mendeley to your word document because you will be writing a paper and you want the citations in text or you want the bibliography at the end of your paper so you can directly add that from mendeley so how to add add and create from mendeley desktop here is the add and create button you can add and managing the references how to manage the reference so uh, organize the references as per the requirements as i said you can create different folders you have suppose uh, like i can give example for my phd research uh say suppose bibliotherapy is one of the topics or a uh, reference interview or readers advisory interview is one of the topics so the material that i have downloaded on that particular uh, uh, topic
topic can be added into that particular folder so it's easy for me to uh, prepare a write up on that um, uh, topic right so you can do that and you can add tags also then you can uh, naturally read the document if you click if if the time permits i'll be showing you the actual hands on of uh, my mendeley desktop library and how actually it goes on so you can read the document you can copy or highlight the text you can add a note within the text now notes are different notes is what you type out but you can add within the text also how you uh, when you are using some photocopy of uh, an article or a resource uh, a source material you just highlight an important point there right or even at times you jot down with your pen that uh, you arrow you put arrow you you put put one star there or something like this is important it highlight underline it so all those things you can virtually do here using mendeley you can add annotations as i said using the notes feature you can search for keywords within the library within the created library now suppose you have like when you're doing phd research especially you have hundreds of documents there stored like i have somewhere around 200 articles there in my library so from there if at times i i did not find time to sort them or uh, i i i don't know I, i just want quickly that particular reference where that word was uh, or that keyword where, where was it uh, written in which document so i can just search within the library also using the keyword search and then in text citations you can add in the word document and generate a bibliography using various citation styles now citation styles are the ones where um, uh, how uh, that dictate how you write a particular reference so uh, you you write the author's surname then comma author's name then you put a colon mark that's the particular way but you need not it's quite technical and there is no need for you to remember how to write a reference mendeley does that work for you it readily gives you a written a uh, reference a perfectly written reference in whichever style that you want chicago manual style or you want mla style or you want apa either way right so how you will organize this is what the <coughs> desktop library looks like and here folders and all you can organize you can create folders and you can sort them in those particular you can sort the resources in those particular folders help button will always be there if you do not understand anything you if you want to know explore more about a particular point help is going to be there as i said to search the complete mendeley card catalog uh, guys this is the most important feature if you don't remember anything else from this uh, presentation you please remember at least this point because this is what is going to help you find the material for your uh, chosen area of interest then as i said plugin word plugin in the references you find this ms uh, mendeley plugin see insert citation open mendeley right now style here drop down menu is there you can select whichever style now apa style american psychological association style is the one that we generally follow so it is set on that but you can and and above you can see insert bibliography so at one click you can have the whole bibliography below your the paper that you've written now mendeley app layout this is very important because i'm sure many guys many many of you uh, guys and girls will be more uh, interested in uh, using the app version you know in your palm you want everything so even i'm uh, using mendeley app version so this is how it looks so this is the main feed, the main screen the left one is the main screen and here if you uh, click on these three lines you can view the uh, profile details profile settings and uh, you can set your profile you can add your picture you can set the um, uh, education and area of interests so it will give you uh, keep on giving you the updates now if you click on these three dots you will see the add document because this is the library menu you can see uh, at the second image you can see below three menus library news feed and suggest right so in the library menu this is the screen and by clicking this you can add 
document or the new folder and this one here is the sync button so whatever changes you make don't forget to sync it so uh what does it do then news feed as as i said the second uh, menu news feed in news feed you can see you can share your research and you'll come to know what who is doing what you follow other people on mendeley to be alerted what they are publishing or you can uh, uh, connect with other users that feature is also there but it's more prominent on the web version of mendeley and in suggest it will suggest you like uh, suppose i am doing one naturally it will give me a library related suggestions readers interests as you can see the suggestions that i have received here so public libraries archives readers interest so all those keywords that i have put as my interest it will give me suggestions accordingly right then next all the app features what we have discussed so far all the app features are also there uh, in app so you add your profile picture as i said you add your profile picture you add all the details also and uh, uh, you can import from the browser you can import metadata and pdf articles even at google chrome if there are some open access journals open access articles are there uh, ma'am must have taught you where to find open access journals so in mendeley also there is an option for open access um, where it will search only open access journals for the keyword that you put in and uh, you can not directly import from the browser you can add the urls or edit the urls here recent searches it saves for you so you need not remember uh, uh, what what i had searched a couple of years, days ago it will uh, show you recent searches i think for a week or so they are saved you can add documents we we saw that adding documents you can search within the pdf as i said search within the text you can uh, uh, find out of uh, uh, say 200 So articles added to your library, you can find the particular uh, uh, keyword from all the materials. Whichever that keyword appears, it will show you the highlighted uh, results. You can make notes, manage folders. You can make notes. You can drag, uh, write sticky notes. How you would write a sticky note, uh, hard hard uh, note like pen, pen and paper. You can use a sticky note. You can add that sticky note in the book. or in the photocopied version of the book same way you can do that with mendeley so uh, and you can drag it around move somewhere else also acha maine galti se yahan pe dal diya nahi nahi yahan pe nahi somewhere else i want you can drag it and move it somewhere else also you can filter by tag you can add tags as per your own research you can add tags and you can filter and search by tags you can add them recently read an sd card support also you have so you add some of them Uh, you can you can decide whether you want to add in sd card you can uh, store it in your phone memory or you can just store it in the cloud it's up to you you don't want to uh, you know crowd your uh, so uh, uh, sd card memory then you can keep them just in the cloud but you want to download you can do that as well edit documents on the go notes edit notes on the go so this is an, another important feature whatever notes you have done so you are reading some on the notes you can immediately use your app version to take the notes sync all the features sync is the important button jump to a particular page it will show you the page numbers also like 42 page document is there but you can directly jump to the ninth page okay of social features as i said these are important collaborate with researchers join groups create groups share the resources with them directly there is no middle person here you can directly get in touch with the researcher right so and discover the important new work in their field as well as understand the impact of the publication how many have referred to it you come to know whether it's really impactful it's uh, important in uh, uh, that field or not right and under the career service you can find better careers from thousands of science and technology jobs from the leading again uh, mendeley searches it for you mendeley finds it from leading job boards academic institutions company employers recruitment agencies 
this is the link for it we saw that online we saw uh, the in the web versions the career menu and then you can sign up for email email alerts also tailor to the search criteria and upload your resume basically so what are you good at you upload uh, all your uh, um, uh, achievements or all your uh, specializations you can add them and you can get noticed by the recruiters Uh, so these are the references used you can contact me you can take down the email or you can ask uh, vidya madam uh, uh, for the email and you can mail me if you have, have any query veena uh, can you show them how yes. you will uh, yes yes i i yes 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 so uh, i think uh, let's go for the mendeley library here so this is my desktop this is the mendeley everybody can see it right no we can't see you we can see you now present now you have not presented you have closed Achha, the presentation okay. oh, no? all right all right thank you please thank you okay no problem Uh, Vidya, I'm not able to share the screen. You will be able to present now. Click on that present now. I have. I'm not able to share the whole screen. You will be. Why not? Click, click. My my screen. No, no, my desktop is. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's coming now. Wait. Okay. It's coming. So this is the this is the Mendeley desktop icon where I'm clicking right now. One second. It's it coming. It's coming. Wait. 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 It is coming. Slowly, it will come. Don't wait. Takes time, yeah. See, it is loading the sync data. Wait, wait, wait. Options are going down. we know nothing is seen on the screen check again uh, maybe there is some okay. amount of network network issues hai to slow slowly ho jata hai wo i think i i don't know if uh, because uh, from my end it is uh, it is it is shared what what can you see now see we i can see that veena is presenting but there is nothing on the screen so you oh, do man. one thing you click it off I'll and stop again re yeah start stop it and start again, again. Yeah, yeah. i'll do that i'll do that yes yeah stop it and start again and if there are other things on the browser no to wo sab to aap band karwa do so that it becomes easier why it is not showing the screen i don't understand It happens sometimes after half an hour 45 minutes no these things happen on google meet also no when i'm trying to share the entire screen i'm not able to share at all See, when when it comes from when you when you say present now and then you'll have to click click on enter uh, uh, your entire screen. okay i'm i'm able to see now i think you should be able to see okay you can see now ha ah, it is coming yes 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 so mendeley desktop is here yeah. and now uh, uh, i think you should be able to understand this better this at the right side is the login right you can click the login here and you can edit and what not so now, now if you want to add a new new document into mendeley yes yeah if yes. you can do that and show how do you do that yes yes one second 
See, the thing is, even I am sharing my mobile's uh, internet here. I'm using the hotspot, so my net is also not yeah, up to the mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Yeah. So okay. So uh, add add option. As I said, uh, can you see the cursor move? Yes. Okay. So add option is there. One sec. Even the. Uh, even the uh, web version i have opened let me no, no let that open but in the meanwhile you start in this and then we can show it there also the so file option you can see add files add folder add import as import option we are thoda slow because it is is getting we are, we are getting a uh, lot of uh, disturbance in the this thing ruk ja thoda okay okay so uh, add button is here in file menu you can see many options but you below the file menu you have this plus option and you can directly add file or add folder now here add in file adding file to your library is what this does let me just add one file for you i'll say here add file taking time let it Vina, we are not able to hear you. taking a lot of time Janvi, does this happen after say half an hour, one hour, and all those stuff? Um, not really, ma'am. Or because it is Saturday, everybody is there on the PC at home. No, no, I don't think. In fact, um, <laughs> weekend it's expected to be lighter, but uh, not to worry. I think we will be out. able to put it up. She's she's locked off. I don't know why. Um. I guess she'll log in again. Yeah. Ah, there she's back. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I was just moved out of the meeting. I don't understand. So yeah, okay. okay. Uh, I'm I'm back and I'm audible, visible, everything. Yes, yes, yes. So I'll start presenting now again. We'll go back to Mendeley desktop. Visible desktop. Yes, visible. Yes. No, 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 not yet. Yes, it is getting 
Okay. Yeah, it is coming up. Yes, now it is visible. All right, all right. So uh, I, since I had already added this particular uh, uh, resource, it was showing the previous added date. It will show it will it will because it is uh, a double addition. So I'll do one thing. I'll add another file here. I had couple of added things in my download. Yeah, okay. So bulletin and collection building. These two I'm adding. Okay. These two I've added. Okay. Right. So it is showing the exact time. Mm. Ten fifty-eight a.m. today. I have yeah. added this. The title is this. Now, at times, the title might not be correct. So you, as I said, you double-click on this, and the resource okay. opens in the next tab. So you okay. can see the my library is here. This tab and the actual resource is in this tab okay so american library association is actually the publisher but it is by mistake it is put as the title the title is readers advisory service in new york branch libraries jenny flexner is the author right mm. so even author is wrong here so good i have chosen this particular source where all the details can be wrong okay at times so here what they've opened the details are different and what they've mentioned here those are not the correct details you can completely read the right jenny yeah. flexner yeah, yeah yeah you can read that you can see that and uh, as i said the note feature first first i'll tell you how to edit the changes edit okay. the document changes hmm. now here you can very well just click here and change it okay i'll i'll just copy it from here rather than typing i'll copy this title from here you see you can when i select you see these these three you can see this pen to highlight the text you can see the sticky note option highlight the text and add a note right can you see this yes is it visible yes yes, yes. and then the third one is copy. copy the selected text so i'll just click on copy and i'll paste it here so this title is correct now yeah even the author here was wrong i don't know why so author you can type in also but you have to type it library style so you have yeah. to type the surname first so lexner comma jenny m right yeah and then if you push if you push enter it will go to next line so you mm. can add one more author as well if you are, if you have three authors four authors you can add but you want to go to next field you press tab okay you press tab you go to next field so bulletin of american library association that's the journal's name but it is showing completely wrong here <coughs> yeah. so i can copy i can copy this or i can type also i'll change this now so at times if you at times if it is not correct you can edit the uh, i think why it is not correct you can see the year of publication it's 1938 mm. so it's so old maybe the details were not put properly at that time but 322 and even the page numbers are mentioned here page numbers 83 to 86 so i'll uh, edit that okay so and here it will show from from gestor suppose i have downloaded this mm. and published by american library association all the details are shown in that article now let's add one sticky note to our article so here suppose because of the connection of the branches now okay i'm sorry this uh, selection na uh, in this this is quite old i'll show you another one i'll show you one latest one ek you can open multiple sources okay hmm we one of them is open but another will open in the next tab see you can see the first tab as my library you hmm. can see the second tab as readers advisory the first article the old 1938 wala article and hmm. now you can see this article that we have opened okay all right this is not an article but it is a book Hmm. as you can see the type mentioned here is the book meaning of library a cultural history 
so this is the book that i downloaded now suppose i want to put a tag to this particular quotation library at night alberto mm-hmm. manguel so mm-hmm. i i want to put a tag so suppose i want this to be uh, a tag in in the source so i select that and i click on the middle option of highlight this text and add a note now this text will be added this note will be added within the text so you click here so suppose check quotation i'll put a note to myself okay hmm. see a note is added here you click on this it will show the note it is highlighted now the color of highlight can also be changed here see you can see the yellow is here green blue all those colors so suppose i don't like yellow so i'll say undo here i'll go undo add note also so say suppose i i say undo add note and the color of highlight i want to add green so i can select this and i can select the color green no it's not getting selected okay let's select some other color purple let's select purple see it is selected in purple now so you can color code mm-hmm. your documents also that yellow highlight means something else purple means something else green means something else right you can do that now the important feature of adding notes now this note here we added note sticky note within within the text right quick quotation so we added this so it will show the note now as i said you can drag and drop it somewhere else also so i don't want this note here i wanted it to the name so i'll drag and drop it here can you see i have dragged it from one end i wrote it actually at one uh, another sentence but i dragged it and dropped it somewhere else it will show the even if you take the cursor there it is show highlighted by veena thakare today at 115 in my library here it will show highlighted at 114 and note added so you want to add the note no but you want uh vidya please mute yourself yeah so you want to type the notes now this particular article is very important so you want to type it in the notes you want to type the important things that you noted from this article after reading this article so in 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 this details part you see the details of it alice crawford meaning of the library what not details of that particular source metadata and in the next one in notes if you click you can add the notes say suppose important work now this is just for you so use abbreviations use whichever language language that you want whichever way you want to write important work for say definitions check uh the um uh, sample study okay all those notes are for you you can do that and they are saved automatically there is no need to save once you click on this it will show even below it will show the annotations that you have taken so notes that you have done in the text and general notes both it will show here okay now the important feature of my library this one that i spoke about literature search now uh, one of you give me a keyword that you want to search for a keyword anyone scientific generation sorry can you repeat hello she said scientific generation i am not able to hear you 
Can you repeat, madam? Sand- she said sandwich generation. Sandwich generation. Oh, wonderful! I didn't know there was any such thing. Sandwich generation. Am I correct? I have have written it right. generation yes, okay can you see generation. how i have typed it yes ma'am sandwich yes. generation this is what you are looking for right yeah. yes yeah so uh, there are two different things what first you have to remember here mendeley literature search where i have put this will search the mendeley library so complete web complete web it will search for all scholarly articles but here this search option is there na where you can search within the library that also we'll see now before, before this word keyword sandwich generation you can see a small arrow now you can click on that and you can select the particular one that you are looking for so you want to search the sandwich generation in titles right or you can click here open access let me open access here and see okay and then let's let's press enter see it has shown me so far it has shown me you can see just at the bottom of the screen you can show see out of 302 so in a second time it brought out 302 hits for the sandwich generation so sandwich generation adult children of aging of the aging or in brazil or family caregiver now as i click as i click you can see at the right side sandwich generation this document is not in your library save reference so you want to save or you want to download since these are open access you can download the article as well the whole article or just save the reference in israel you want to see all those details you can see at the right at the right column you can see the uh, that particular sources details metadata okay and here if you select that open access na you can just let us just open one of them which one do you want to open let us to kaun sa hai isme 2017 sandwich generation caring for oneself and others at home or at work let's open this yes yeah so you double click it it will open i'm sorry even my net is quite slow anyway it is taking too much of time let it be in the meanwhile we can go here and find out a particular how how to find a particular a uh, keyword i'm sorry a particular keyword uh god this is stuck now oh you come wait 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 glitches of it i'll i'll, I'll stop sharing again and again start sharing because this is stuck now it's not allowing me any other feature to operate open okay uh everybody can see the desktop again yes ma'am vidya can you see yes. the desktop yes 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 everything is there yeah clear clear all right all right all right so yeah so so at the right at the right there is this search box you can see this search box here it will search within your library so whatever you have added you want to search a particular type in that library so author title you can select the field also or you can search in the notes also right if you are if you don't select anything and you just type one say suppose i'll i'll type bibliotherapy see 
it will show it will show me the hits wherever the word bibliotherapy has appeared in my library not in mendeley library not on web but in my library so in my library there are how many 427 documents where the word bibliotherapy is mentioned right so 420 so suppose all documents how many do i have here you can clear the search from here and total documents how many do i have you select one of them so 427 suppose documents are there in my library 427 so out of 427 finding one word somewhere i had read couple of months ago i don't remember exactly what the title was what the author was so this within the library search is of use there and here at mendeley at the left panel at the top left is the literature search so literature search will help you search the whole web the whole mendeley library using uh, uh, using this feature you can search the whole web of that particular area of interest how we searched previously it didn't allow us to open but um, i can show you how the notes are taken so suppose i had done say literature review i'll select this particular one source and here in notes see i have taken the notes for this document like reading maps there is this uh, article on reading maps restyling the re readers advisory for teens and what have i learned from this document i have written down in my own words this is the notes that i have taken and again here also i can i can uh, particular one i can bold italics all those things underline i can do here as well okay so these features you can use and these notes once you take down they are available there once you sync this is the sync feature once you sync they are available on all the versions on all the uh, um, a platforms web platform or mobile platform app platform as we say or this desktop platform so let us just have one uh, short look at the web platform can you see the web platform can you see i've opened the mendeley no, library it's here it's coming, it's coming up wait just coming up okay i'll just start from the beginning so i'll open mendeley here can everybody see i have searched mendeley on google it's not it come no, up no, nothing has come up okay can you see now Again, yeah, it's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Google. I've searched Mendeley. I'll click yes, on Mendeley. So I'm just showing you the online version. I won't be able to show you the app version because uh, that's uh, not possible here because I'm on laptop. So for you at the beginning, you can create a free account here, or if you've already created the account, you can sign in. So I have all. I already have my account, and you can download directly. At before signing in, also you can download. They've added this feature. Download directly. You need not sign in. Download. Use the desktop version if you want. So I'll just sign in, and I'll show you my library online.
Okay, so I'm signing in in my library online now, web version. We saw the desktop version hands-on. Now we will see the web version hands-on. And I want to show you that career wala option if you guys are interested. So here it comes, download Mendeley, get reference manager. So I've already downloaded. I don't want to see that. So here it will immediately show me the article suggested first in library. Okay. It will show you the library now. It is loading very slow, I'm sorry. Let us just have one look at the library and then we can proceed for the careers and how you can create your account and all that. I think students will be more interested in that, right? I don't know why. Let's open this at least. Oh, it is showing careers. OK, so here you can search. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. OK, so here you can see all the options. My job alerts, once you create your job alerts, uh, once you create your search and you create that email alerts, you can do that. You can get the job alerts. You can upload your CV. COVID-19, the option is everywhere now. And uh, see, it is it is showing currently 2,63,259 jobs in science, technology, and health, right? So uh, they are of use to you. So you can search here with your uh, geographic location. You can search as well. And uh, by discipline, which is of use to you, physical, earth sciences, pharmaceutical, Vidya, you can help me. Which yeah, of these is of use to you? Arts and humanities, it will be there. Social sciences also arts you could check. Arts and sciences. humanities or social and sciences. Social sciences. These two places. Let's, let's, check. let's check arts and humanities. And even social sciences. Yes, yes. In arts and humanities, again, it will give you subtypes, discipline-wise. Mm. OK. OK, you can click I more. Think it and because related you check in the sociology thing hmm. yeah. check in the sociology thing yeah so we are taking social sciences jobs. And in social sciences, you can narrow it down. Mm -hmm. Social and political, psychology, graph, graphics. Educational and anthropological studies. OK. See, in that, you can even select the job type that you're looking for, mm. the level. Location, you can select location, Asia, Asia Pacific. Let's select Asia. Let's see how it works. Within Asia, India. No, academic mentor. 
education industry. So three sixty five jobs are found here. One is there in Hyderabad as a lecturer, academic mentor in Jharkhand. You can you can I think there is no further narrowing down is not there. But uh, say suppose principal investigator or group group leaders seven jobs are there. Yeah. Or faculty if you are looking for hundred and forty seven faculty jobs are there. You want to search that? Yeah, we'll maybe a couple of your faculty are there. If they're interested in, <laughs> in uh, leaving no, BMA okay. and going somewhere else, <laughs> which is for use to them. Vidya Mare ko elko pakad di. Elko pakad ke maar diya mai lagne ko. Engineering and all these others are there. Structure ye. ग्लोबल लेवल तो कंट्री वाइज नाउ यू कैन क्रिएट द एलर्ट हियर एज पर यूर सर्च यू कैन क्रिएट द एलर्ट ओके सो लेट्स how to create the alert it's opening academic positions you can uh i think it is acha job alert has been created search alert it directly went did you see this yeah let's go back it was it was mentioning here that your search alert is already created so you just click on that it is created actually to tell you uh, frankly i had not explored this because there is no need for me to search a different career so i did not but just uh, i was curious and i wanted you to explore these options better so you can i think uh, check more with this so yeah. search wise it is created you can search a multiple uh, now we have we have narrowed it down to this na so it, it yeah. by by this you can uh narrow it down and if by your search it will create the alert and since you have logged in already using your email it will give you that alert yes. uh, on your email once one of the jobs opens up as per your requirement it will give you the alert sure thank you i think we'll wind up now thank you so much if any queries i'm open now or you can mail me as i had shown in my uh, uh, as, presentation yeah as and when the students come across some some problems i yes, i will sure. try and help them at the first level and if i am not able to we'll get back to you definitely yeah because they have to get so used to that whole browser and the screen and how yes, to yes. navigate within that screen and all those things yes. so that will really yes. take some time for them so once they get used to that i think that will should not be a problem so once they start downloading yes. things and uh, you know uh, arranging things as per their needs for their uh, i think these uh, i i'm i'm sure this is uh, uh, like uh, in, in a small time i tried to cover as many of the aspects as i could but uh, at times i think this is too much of the too information much for one, one, one lecture yes too yes, much for one yes, lecture i tried to briefly cover it as much as possible but no, let's let like i said as i said see take home is uh, you you can use mendeley primarily for these two things one searching the resources which uh, like you are doing as ma'am said that uh, Okay, let me stop sharing now okay 
so as as madam said uh, you you guys um, are uh, writing research at the uh, graduate level as well right undergrads you you guys are undergrads and you're writing research you're writing paper you're participating in conferences so naturally if you are taking up a topic the first thing you want is good references on that and good solid quality references right so mendeley is the first stop that you go to mendeley uh, search not the within the library but mendeley literature search you use that for first and then you can uh, you at, at, as as we said we just use that sandwich generation uh, keyword and we saw 302 now these 302 uh, articles are from peer reviewed journals they are quality resources because you are not just searching them on google you are searching them on mendeley catalog so mendeley ensures that they are good quality research, uh, research. so the first thing is done for you if you are searching through mendeley uh, it is ensured that you are getting good quality researches so that's one thing and the second thing is click at one click you can create the bibliography at one click you can have the index citation see if you are writing any good paper i don't know if vidya has already had a session on how to write a good research no, paper no no yeah we have not yet started on that we thought uh, we'll start then i think yeah that that's another point you can think of Uh, yeah. uh, on organizing a lecture on that because how to write a good research paper if you are uh, sending your paper on an uh, a quality journal a peer reviewed journal i'm not necessarily saying international journal any of the quality journals if you are sending it to they have certain strict parameters wherein they'll check the references that you have used in the bibliography and uh, are you have have you actually used those references in your text कि ऐसे ही बड़ा बिब्लियोग्राफी दिखना चाहिए इसलिए ऐड करते गए बट इन योर टेक्स्ट यू हैव नो रेफरेंस सो इन टेक्स्ट साइटेशन इट इज कॉल्ड सो इफ यू हैव रिटन एन अ पैराग्राफ सपोज एंड दैट पैराग्राफ और दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट यू हैव रिटन इन योर ओन वर्ड्स बट द आइडिया और द नॉलेज यू हैव टेकन फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर सोर्स सो यू गिव नेक्स्ट टू इट इन स्क्वेयर ब्रैकेट यू गिव द साइटेशन इन टेक्स्ट साइटेशन लाइक ओनली द सर नेम ऑफ द ऑथर so suppose it is vidya's paper that you've cited so subramanyam comma 2019 that would be the index citation that is checked again plagiarism for plagiarism and all that check happens but uh, first of all you uh, have you done the quality uh, literature search that matters before writing any article because ours are theoretical articles right we don't work in actual uh, you guys actually work in in the situations you actually have that that hands on but um, theoretical part is also equally important so in that you should search through mendeley one thing and then whatever you have searched whatever you have downloaded you should arrange them once just once you arrange once you check the data metadata as i as i corrected the data that 1938 ka it was not uh, properly written so i corrected it once you do that it's for life it's it's uh, there whenever you want to pick up whenever you want to use it in word you want to prepare a bibliography you want to use it as a as in text citation either way mendeley is really helpful in that respect okay so uh, i think i'm done here thank you so much and it was a privilege and an honor thank you uh, thanks veena uh, for taking up my call and saying yes i will come and uh, do it for our, for our students we may call you later as a part of this trade when students start using um, i mean downloading articles and uh, starting writing and all those things we are first uh, the first steps of uh, the research uh, this thing uh, stride uh, this thing so i have to first start teaching them how to start searching though they know informally i have taught them through my orientations and formally also through my orientations i've spoken but a uh, full fledged um, talk i will have on you know searching the net for uh, resources certain different uh, databases for resources and all those things once they get hands on to that start reading start downloading and things once they start that then you know arranging your uh, researches arranging your data before starting to write will be one of the things which you understand okay so thanks a lot thanks thanks a lot for 
making time nearly one and a half hours you have spent with us thanks a lot now thanks a lot thanks a lot please <laughs> yeah. thank you so much thank you again for inviting me and i i hope all of you at least understood a few of it <laughs> i i have to go a little fast because i had so much to cover but uh, i have shared my presentation with vidya ma'am uh, if you want to you can uh, ask her with her permission you can get it yeah sure, okay? sure. thank you thank you thanks thank, thank, you. thank you so much thank you bye 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 i'll call you back <laughs> yeah no bye bye any questions girls nahi everybody is happy with whatever they have done chalo january Students yes, thank you, ma'am. And I think as they explore it more, they'll have questions. Yeah, yeah, so they'll have questions. It's a good idea to know what is available okay. so that it makes it easier. Okay, and okay. Um, just keep exploring. You will have projects also in which you write your references. Yeah. So try to integrate um, your work through Mendeley because sometimes you would have located certain um, articles and you will forget. Are they where was it? What was it? So if you search through Mendeley, you get it all in one place. one place yeah so that's why i am use this for all the projects that you'll have even when we start uh, your uh, seminars you will use mendeley and as the year advances you will take up some of the other research project yeah, yeah. so writing a research may be a long term goal but even for your everyday assignment it will be of yeah. immense value correct 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 searching for matter on the net for your own assignments and uh, Yeah, as and it will give you a reliable source of information okay. because on Google anyone could be putting up everything. But yeah. when you search through Mendeley or any other reliable software, it gives you more validated data. Okay, thank you, Janvi. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Janvi. Thank you, ma'am. A lot. I have also learned quite a few things which I didn't know. Through That's Mendeley. great. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, ma'am. Well, thank you. Well, being with us